we're at part 10 of the Portal 2 commentary, and now we're finally back into New Age Aperture Science. Or, as it is now called, Wheatley Laboratories. With, you know, the word Wheatley pasted over the uh, Aperture logo, because um, Wheatley apparently sucks at image editing. <laughs> In Comic Sans, no less. <laughs> God damn it, Wheatley! <laughs> You just hope to God he's not <laughs> equipped with paradox absorbing cubes. <laughs> Alright, just when you thought Cave Johnson would be the funniest thing to come out of this game, along comes Evil Wheatley. <laughs> Okay, so that answers our time question we had. We've been down here for 12 hours. Alright, you know, know the funny thing about this so-called puzzle? It's literally an empty room with a button. <laughs> Freaking cubes. <laughs> There's Seth. Ah, yes. I knew you'd solve it. Hi, Wheatley. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Um, true. I love how all the robots short out. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never noticed that before. That's what I get for focusing my camera solely on Wheatley. <laughs> uh, he's so stupid a paradox doesn't even work on him. <laughs> my god. <laughs> You know, this is the most far off, pair, the most far off imminent explosion since Dragon Ball Z. I have to say, you go through a full third of the game before there's even a risk of this thing, and they're saying get out now. You know, like for you, it was just low on power that day. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test. I'm sure Glados does. Or I get this, this itch. You know, it must be hard dude, to dude, okay, dude, whatever oh, turns you on, you gets you off you at night, test. it's fine, I'm not gonna judge you, but, you know, keep it to yourself, man. <laughs> God damn it, Rule 34 just kicked in. Robot Rule 34, my friend. <laughs> now with 36 more USB cords. Wow, thanks for... You know, I love spinning. the test sign over there, it's not even working. Oh wait, no, you know what? There, there's an the achievement for this? The, there's an achievement for this. You just stand here and yes. refuse to do the test. Oh, well done. <laughs> Until Wheatley oh, loses patience. That's tremendous. <laughs> Did you get the achievement for breaking all of the very expensive TVs? That is so hard to do. You're talking about these? Yeah. Well, m most of them are fairly easy, but the last few are like puzzles in themselves to break. Yeah, that sounds much easier. <laughs> Let's just do the same test over and over. <laughs> and you get an achievement for it. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Oh, I can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. You know, it occurs to me, the, I, the very idea of seeing whether that would work should have counted as a test and should have gotten him off just now. Because that's scientific in its own fucking retarded way oh man <laughs> I think I just thought of another paradox it's science but apparently it's not science I guess the contradiction it gets late real early out there <laughs> <laughs> my mind equals no it's all right. I was talking to the pizza guy and he was asking how many slices he wanted to cut my pizza six or eight I told him six because I didn't oh, eat that many I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't trust you enough to believe that lie. <laughs> oh, Yogi Berra, you're pretty much paradoxes in and of yourselves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I never heard that it gets late real early out <laughs> here. Hey, now I want to I want to ask people this. I, mean, I want comments in response to this question. How many including the people in the, including all you in uh, on the comments? How many of us here felt sorry for the um freaking cubes? Yes, the Franken cubes. I mean, they're just so pitiful. They're and so cute. Broken. Yeah, I but also, they're but so sad. Remember from what I'm reading, they're also in constant pain. Yeah. They look like they're in constant pain. Just makes me want to Poor pinch thing. their little cheeks and tell them it'll be all right. Oh wow! <laughs> well 
Well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just I'll catch up with you. That was uh, some good hey week. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, okay, here's here's another question I wanted to ask. In, in the first portal, it's a Glad screen. GLaDOS voice was, you know, more robotic than anything else. You didn't actually express any kind of emotion throughout the entire course of the game until yeah, we started removing some cores. So is this GLaDOS's true self? This is GLaDOS with all the cores removed, yes. yes. Okay. Funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. Absolute dynamite. Uh, you know, when when I when I when I think about it, when we when we first met, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I think I said this back in the Glados section a week yeah. and a half ago. Uh, when we first met Glados again after she came back, she she sounded just as evil as she did when she was first when 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 you removed when you one were one or two of the cores. Yeah, during the final battle with Glados in Portal One. At the beginning of Portal 1, yeah, she's very much like just a general robot of sorts. Well, the idea, I think, was to make it sound just more like pre-recorded messages, so you wouldn't think anyone was actually there or something. <laughs> <laughs> trolling GLaDOS is trolling. How does a robot breathe? <laughs> I think I may have asked that, too, <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I love how how Gladys's body has an anti-cheating mechanism installed. Um, maybe it has something to do with their fan. I don't know. <laughs> what? Don't pull that lever! Ah! <laughs> oh man, I love the Glados Wheatley interplay here. It's so good. Yeah, it's one of the most memorable parts of the, the last half of the, the last third of the game. Really? You sure you're remembering that correctly? You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off wing, hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers, just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shook them out, good as new. <laughs> Thanks, Gladys. <laughs> well, I've heard about taking, I've heard about taking skeletons out of the closet, but this is ridiculous. Rip oh. shot. <laughs> Look at them havoc physics. <laughs> Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Right, Butterfingers. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you may be hungry for a Hershey's bar. <laughs> There's a gate in your way. Other side. <laughs> ah, I can't blame him for missing it at a glance. Ooh. One thing that I do like with this game is that. Whenever you're in something like the gel or, or, or the excursion funnel, I think Ted's on a massive delay again. Whatever these blue things are, yeah, that thing. Uh, the music changes a little bit. There's like a little noise in the background. I always thought it was cool, ish. Yes, he's on a massive yeah. delay. <laughs> Damn it! Again, I thought we fixed these. Well, now you seem okay. Wait. You seem to be <laughs> sputtering about a lot. Hey Ted, say what I say what I say in about three seconds, okay? All right, Apple, say Apple. <sighs> looks like you just looks like you just jumped in there. Apple. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a lot seconds. more than three seconds. That, that was ten seconds. That was ten fucking seconds. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I need to find like okay. an Ethernet port or something. Why are you at your parents' house, or are you? Yeah, I'm back at my parents' That's house. That's probably why then. Oh, <laughs> college internet is far better than. Yeah. Normal internet. Well, well, you've caught up with us now, right? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, good, good, good. Say, say, uh, yeah. So just cross your fingers, ah. pray. Much better, much better. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I was uh, doing this the completely wrong way. I really yes. should be carrying the cube with me, but I'm just letting it go about its business. <laughs> yeah, that's the annoying thing about the Franken cubes is that sometimes they do walk away from where you leave them. So when you drop them, you have to be careful to leave them on their backs. Otherwise, they'll they kind of around. start skittering around. Oh, just take the cube it with is. you. 
It is a good attention to detail, though. You, you, you'd think, at some point, that one of those skittering cubes might have accidentally, you know, fucking, uh, landed on the button during that test Wheatley was doing. Oh, here we go. Oh, you messed it up. Thanks. And why is Wheatley getting orgasmic? Because he pressed the, bu it pressed the button for a split second. Oh, okay. You know, that's premature only, there, Wheatley. You know, that, that's actually supposed to trigger... <laughs> when the, that's actually supposed to trigger when the box starts hovering, um... Towards... Yeah. So I probably just went through the path. Yeah. And it hit the button for a brief moment. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> disappointed. Ew. <laughs> That's the joke, Ted. <laughs> Maybe I should have edited all these out. Loading. We are still or loading. Or maybe not. You've been very helpful, GLaDOS. You've been sitting there thinking ever since we found you. I'm sorry, my internet died for a second there. Glad I'm not the only one. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the line that this is the, this is the, this is the the, the the dialogue this is the the argument that 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 triggered that stupid Fox News thing. And this line yeah. they completely forgot they completely forgot to mention, which defends adopted. So fuck you, Fox. Well, now, don't God oh, me. well, I don't even think here. I don't even think the Fox News are the Fox News report forgot that they deliberately cut around everything else. It's well, how they I mean, do things. You can, you can make the argument that, yeah, Gladys is helping her, but she does also make the comment, yes, you are adopted, and yes, it is terrible, so I don't think it really helps. But even it doesn't. still... All right, and that still leaves the point where, you know, Wheatley is also making fun of fat people. That Apparently, that's, that's no problem. <laughs> and GLaDOS was making fun of fat people for, for like a third of the game before that. I, you know, I, there, I, I get the feeling that, you know, just statistically, a lot more of the kids who wind up playing this game are going to be overweight than adopted. Or at least in America, anyway. Yeah, in, in America. Uh, I should have done a, I should have done a, a Bandit Keith uh, imitation there. No, you shouldn't. I completely missed the little Karibo <laughs> reference. I, I'm gonna curl up in a corner and draw on the ground with my finger for a little while. Uh, repeat that again, Wheatley. <laughs> <laughs> Was that intentional? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what does this mean? I love how he's like he's apparently reading a book here. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope, that, I hope that didn't disturb you too much. Then it was the sound of books, pages being turned. Uh, so that's just what I was doing, just reading. Uh, you know, if you were a robot, you could probably analyze a book in like three seconds without ever looking <laughs> no, at the actual book. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah, thanked it. Well. <laughs> Did you catch Gladys saying yes, yes. there? A completely yeah. bored tone of voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are not impressed. <laughs> I've read Machiavelli. What is it about? It's boring. What happened? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> the, right, the point is, Wheatley got offended by, by, uh, by, uh, by uh, Gladys' moron talk, so he's acting like he's not a moron. Now, question, what's the point of implementing that into a robot? It's Aperture. What is that? It's Aperture Science. Okay, the, the, the basic idea here is that uh, GLaDOS's body has a sort of a built-in fetish for testing that eventually you <laughs> sort of wear out, you sort of grow out of. Uh, GLaDOS is such a maniac that she... That she Blue screen oh, of my. death. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, oh crap! Apertures. Glados is uh, Glados is is, is 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 innately you know attached to science, so it doesn't matter that. Jump on the faith plate. Jump on the faith plate. Jump on the faith plate. No, just jump on the damn faith plate. Don't do anything. Jump on the faith plate. Yes! Score! Lewis, they have built a new four, U4 uh, machine inside you that gets off on jumping on face plates. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's called your brain. <laughs> well, actually, your, your brain doesn't secrete hormones. One of the glands does. Whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the brain that tells the glands to release the hormones. <laughs> I'm not ah. sure. But... I'm not sure whether or not you're actually going to do this, so I'm going to say it now. During the part where he kills you, when you're, you know, making your grand escape from from Wheatley, uh, there's a point where he's talking to you through a screen, trying to convince you to give up. If you come back and jump off, you get an achievement. Well, no, no, I'm talking about later. When he's talking out of a screen, he's trying to convince you to give up, not not jump off, but give up. Uh, you can actually launch a box at the screen, <laughs> and it's kind of funny what happens when you do. I don't think it, I don't I don't know whether or not it counts toward the uh, toward the requirement for um, the achievement no, for breaking all the screens. No, I think it does actually. I think it might, but you but but there's there's but it but it can count toward one that you missed earlier, uh, because you can get the achievement without before you you even get to the screen. But I, I'm rambling now. Uh, my point is, it's fucking hilarious. He just says like, "Oh, I, I guess I'll take that as a no," and he runs away. <laughs> oh, I think. Uh, no, I think. I think I do do that actually. That was too, low, too, too low! Too low! Too low! Run! Run! No, I'm fine. I don't know why they didn't shoot at you. <laughs> because I guess because the hard light barrier was just a, at the right proximity. Or altitude, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say proximity. I'm pretty sure it's close enough, but anyway. It looks like they should have shot your ankles out. Don't worry, she's wearing boots. They're pretty, so pretty much had to do the, I had to do the chamber a second time because I was a little careless with the box. Uh, yep. That is an emancipation grill. If the box touches it, it disintegrates. Dude, just jump down there and put the box on the button. What are you doing? He needs to make sure the turrets don't shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good job Are you with that. Absolutely sure you're solving these correctly. I mean, yes, you solved it. Up too low, too high again. No, no, I'm trying to make sure the turret, uh, the box isn't on its legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now on with the rest of the test chamber. Uh, you can just walk through the grill. Yeah, but then he'll get shot. Yeah, because the moment he walks through a grill, his portal's shut off. That shit. <laughs> Ow. Well, luckily, I, I cut out to the end of that chamber in the beginning of the next part. Okay, you shot the wrong portal, dude. <laughs> we got that, Lewis. And I think I died as a result. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me replay the last three seconds of that. Yeah. Oh, definitely dead. Yeah, I died. I definitely died. <laughs>